2022 have ideated. They've already captured a range of ideas. It's really exciting what they've come up with. So far, we've got roughly 100 ideas up on the wall. We're going to aim for around about 500. We're going to have some really critical things to really take this forward very well. Are you joining us at the Think Tank here at um, the Nav? Arena, uh, run by Allegra Consulting, and I have Lena Ross with me, one of our presenters. We're Hi halfway there. through. We are, we're halfway through, and there's five breakout sessions doing great ID8 sessions on their key takeaways and where they think the future of change management's heading with capabilities. So we're going to get some great output, aren't we, for the white yeah. paper? Yeah, some great key takeaways that we can use for the white paper, and um, we'll talk about that at the next Allegra event on the 6th of September at the RACV Club, so you'll find out exactly what we got out of today's session there. Yeah. It's been a great session. Over 100 people have turned up, which is awesome for the change community in Melbourne. It's fantastic to see so many of you here to explore as a group the future of change management. Okay, so we're coming to the three key takeaways because they were really just thought provokers for your um, sessions later this afternoon. So here's the three key takeaways that go with those three points, and that is embrace and model the new ways of working. Okay, we need to leave a really good footprint, I think, when we go out to our clients. And it's not just understanding the what, it's really being able to do the how and model those. The second one is own your capability. Own your capability and work on a personal learning network. And when I say a personal learning network, I mean a personal learning plan that sits outside formal classroom learning. It's about your networks and how you're learning organically outside a formal face-to-face -face situation. On the other side of that is the whole big picture thinking. And what I mean by this is, um, as, a, as a naturally um, a person who's focused on the big picture, I am really passionate about seeing things as a whole and looking at things as a system. And you work with people who have different ways of looking at things. So one of the, the functions that I perform in the roles that I've had is helping people in an organisation to understand how change impacts the whole of the organisation as an ecosystem. So by doing one piece of work over here, it's never done in isolation. It's all within the context of the organisation. And I think it's incumbent upon us as change people to actually look at our organisations more broadly as ecosystems and understand that they are continuously evolving and that we need to never look at anything as a, you know, a, a one-stage situation. It's right here, it's right now. It's never about that. It's always about continuous evolution. I was trying to think, I wonder what Wonder Woman would bring to us around the emerging capabilities of our profession. Wonder Woman offers a commitment to truth, courage and integrity. And if ever there were qualities that were going to take us forward to the future of change management profession, it would be these three. When I think about a commitment to truth, I think about a relentless passion for our change communication and committing to truth in change comms, letting go of spin, being relentless in making sense of things for our employees. When I think of truth in change comms, it's never been easier as we move to more agile ways of working. Because the minute we start rolling out with an MVP, the conversation with the stakeholder is, look, the truth is you're not going to like it at this point, but it gets better. The second one there is integrity. And when I think about integrity, I'm talking about the quality of our solution. So not so much the moral code of integrity. And it is incumbent on us as change practitioners that we protect ruthlessly the integrity of the solution design. That if we are faced with stakeholders and sponsors who are putting forward sloppy business cases, a careless disregard for the employees who are receiving the change, something that really, really sucks and expecting you to roll out, it is our role as change practitioners to protect the integrity of the change we land. So what are those capabilities that we need to be able to lead organisations through that change, whether it's project change, organisational change, whatever it is, in these crazy disruptive times? Yeah? And how do we stay relevant as practitioners? Some good ideas that came from our speakers this morning, so the whole piece from our human empathy AI is going to be massive again. All of the research that's shown around the formation of the workforce is showing that empathy and 
EQ or EI and our ability to build relationships is going to be more important than ever. So just had a uh, fabulous morning here at the Change Think Tank. Uh, a number of change practitioners here in the room with a you know, la you know, vast array of knowledge and experience and some great ideas coming out about um, how we're going to work in the future. So yeah, thanks to everyone that put it together. It's, it's been a great event and yeah, look forward to continuing the conversation. So here they all are, all in the room. The energy's amazing. There's so many good ideas that are coming up. Uh, it's just fantastic to have a group of practitioners that really care about where we're going and, and what we need to look like. So uh, some really cool ideas I think about to be presented back. And that might be through workshops, and it might be through more organic things like we're doing today, where, like the reason I don't have a flip chart, we just have post-it notes everywhere. It was just really random, but the conversations were rich. And we had no technology interventions today in the process of talking about technology. So it was really an ironic situation we found ourselves in. We've just spent the last four hours, we're winding up now, we've had an amazing event, uh, we've had thousands of ideas come through and the change community, they've really come together, they've really come up with some fantastic things that now we can put in the hard yards to, to really make a difference in what we can do in the future. Another terrific day, great and uh, great uh, event, great collaboration with so many members of our change fraternity here in Melbourne and beyond. Um, thanks very much, Allegra Consulting. Onwards and upwards from here.